Hi everybody, Riley here for another episode of Fish Keep in Jamaica. Welcome to my channel. Okay, uh, so I'm just sharing with you a lot of things in one video. Hopefully the video will be short. Okay, I'm plagued with mosquitoes, right? I am plagued with mosquitoes in my community. It's not as a result of my ponds. Fish consume mosquito larvae. I did a video the other day as to how to ensure that your ponds do not breed mosquitoes. All right, I practice those strategies. Okay, but I am still plagued by mosquitoes. So in an effort to ensure that I could be around here uh, to do some videos, what I did, I got some house, you know, vinegar, vinegar that you use in the kitchen uh, around the house. And I actually um, lotion myself with it, uh, should I say. I use it and wash off my skin. All right, so it's on my skin right now my head to my toe right so therefore the mosquitoes are not you know biting me okay so that's one aspect of the video in which I, I wish to share another aspect of the video in which I wish to share is that because my water tank uh, was given problem I do not have enough water to actually change my convict cichlid water right I, I dropped the water to about half tank uh, about a week ago and I never have any water to actually add it to it right as I said before I was actually draining the water so that I could be able to repair it now it's drained it is fixed but that water will not be suitable for fish uh, especially those minerals in it for about a week or so okay so um, what I've done is I've actually been using pipe water in my pond now remember I only took out half of the, the container of water so what I've been doing each day is to put in I should I say replace the water a little bit at a time uh, using the tap water uh, probably about uh, going up in the container about an inch or two every day so as a result of that my fish is not being affected by the chlorine level within the water um, don't try this at home because every community every society everywhere in the world have different percentage of chlorine within the water you have to know when the amount of chlorine in the water increase and when it decrease so as to practice this habit you can practically smell the chlorine sometimes and that water don't use on at all but when you can barely smell the chlorine you can use it tap 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 liquor but do not do this when you're doing a hundred percent water change all right so next part of the video as i said before is a lot of things i have to share uh today all right next part of the video now i have um several ponds right and it's really difficult for me to find covering for for each right uh now you might be wondering uh everyone doing doing fish tubing on youtube have been showcasing their fish i've been showcasing my fish but just sometimes uh when the sun is really hot and water change is lacking like now with the water tank issue uh the water becomes green or non-visible now you might ask so what about the pond that i'm showing you right now well i'm using my underwater camera right to actually uh give you some shots of my chromite cichlid uh i would say fries mixed with juvenile right? well it's too much mixed together right um they are there and the water looks clear right a little yellow primarily because of the soil in the pond and that's a different story right but um it's clear because i've been covering these ponds um during the hot hottest period um uh during the days right also i cover it because i didn't i did not want um get rid of them is to actually place some more soil in it on top of the eggs so the eggs actually died right well it's, it's, they're not good right so they are a little bit larger now so i guess um i can actually uncover it for a longer period of time right but this is what i normally do for my ponds that especially having fries right i normally um have them covered for a long period of time until they i think that they are able to uh, manage themselves should in case frogs come along and uh, not to consume them because I realize that the toads don't really eat them they just lay the eggs 
Right, alright, so here's my Demasoni um, pond. My Demasoni pond, you know, at the top of the pond, uh, it was, what do you call it? It, it, it was covered with a type of algae that if the fish actually swims in it, um, it will get stuck, it will get stressed, and it will die. So, what I've been doing for the past two weeks is to actually cover um, this pond with a piece of board, and I realized that this type of algae is actually dying out so probably if you have the similar issue uh, as you can see now if you can if you have the similar issue you can try that strategy by those um, either you move the pond to uh, a shaded area uh, with limited amount of the Sun or you actually just get a cover build and place it on it it doesn't have to be permanent because as you can see I have plants in the pond so therefore the plants need sunlight however the algae will die before the plants so you need not to worry right um so that's practically it for today's video thank you for stopping by i hope that this video was of interest to you do have a wonderful day this is really here join me next time